So today what we are going to be doing is a big brake change on my Jeep. This is, uh, well, as you know, stock brakes. And uh, got a couple of goofy guys here helping us out today. Anyway, so this is what is going on. So obviously there's two of them and that's the difference there. So this brake kit is a direct Mopar uh, kit. Um, it's exactly the brakes that they put on the JK8. So it's a uh, it's a full kit. It's a dual piston caliper. Uh, there's 17 plus uh, rotor, and then it also changes out your brake booster and uh, whatnot in there. So you can see I got my compressor out of there just to give us a little bit more room and whatnot. But uh, anyway, we're gonna get started on this, and uh, we'll uh, keep you up to date on everything we gotta do. Okay, so what we have done so far, we've just taken the. Uh, caliper off that's the stock caliper we just gotta get i've got extended brake lines this kit does come with uh brake lines <clears throat> i don't need them i've got crown brake lines that came with my lift anyway on there um good thing to do anti seize uh coat it <laughs> that'll just make everything a whole lot better as far as getting this stuff apart if you ever have to get it apart again but uh anyway <clears throat> we're just gonna get uh, our calipers here and as you can see, these are a dual piston caliper. So uh, stopping power should be greatly increased. <clears throat> and then you can see there's the caliper, the rotor. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, the rotors themselves are 13 point Two five three hundred and thirty millimeters. Three hundred and thirty millimeters. So thirteen point two five. Thirteen point two five. That's the size of the rotor, so you can see they are just massive. Um, anyway, let's keep going on this, and uh, we'll have to get the rotor or the uh, caliper switched over here next. As you can see here, we've got everything all together. Um, did forget to turn the camera on, but anyway, there is a bracket here that has to be put on before this or this fits onto here the 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 caliper does not bolt directly right onto the factory spot which is uh, right in here you've got this bracket here that holds the brake pads itself and what i'll do is i'll see if i can show you here um where's the new one here okay so here is the here is the caliper with the brake pad so what you have to do is that this comes off separate from this you have to put your brake pads on this first before you put all of this together okay so and the brake pads themselves they install from the back side on this bracket so they have to go in on the back side here and again on the back side here so that when you slide everything down in those little clips that are in here these little clips oh, here the keep it keep the pads in place and it actually pulls the pads away from the rotor once you let off the brakes in that respect okay so um, it does come with all the new hardware and everything so you just have to make sure you put that in as well you have to make sure that you've got the proper part number this part number right there that is the right side okay so your six eight one five seven six one one aa is the again right side and I'll grab the box here for the other one it's the box it's just one zero just yeah so the other number is the one zero so it's all the same other than the seven six one one is the right the 7610 is the left so you do have to remember that the brackets here these brackets are exactly the same on both sides so okay. that you don't you don't have to uh do that so anyway uh we'll uh we're gonna get this going here. and we'll uh we'll show you what we have when we're done here but we did break clean everything up as well so it's all good that was awesome <laughs> okay so as you can see we have got anti-seize <laughs> that's good 
Um, and we've got this, uh, we got our brake line on our new rotor, or sorry, caliper and uh, bracket and things of that sort. We've got the brake pads installed, as you can see there. And uh, we just have to, <laughs> we just have to get, uh, I guess, get it, get that. Well, get our, we got to get our rotor on here first, I guess, and we'll get all this connected. And so then one thing that we found uh, when we assembled this, you have the bracket that goes on to your, the main caliper. What we did was we actually assembled this on the bench. We tried the first side, we tried to do it, install this, install this, and put it on, and it was a pain in the ass. Your brake pads slide into your bracket first, yep. and then you install the bracket onto the caliper. Yeah, so that worked the best. Um, so when, again, you gotta change the bracket, or change the brake pads, that all has to come apart. You install the brake pads into that adapter, and then you put it all back together, so. Anyway, we'll get uh, we'll get this going, and we just got to show you. Um, Grandma knitted uh, Dwayne some uh, some rags. They they're they're pretty. They're not really absorbent, but anyway, he he loves them. He loves his grandma and everything, so it's all good. So, <laughs> so you can see here, we're just getting the uh, caliper on, putting the. Uh, 21 mil bolts in uh, all of the <laughs> the kit the kit has all new hardware that comes with everything um, that's the uh, part number so the p1 or p5160051 jeep wrangler brake upgrade kit so that is the actual kit uh, if you want to pause it there's all the uh, the uh, part number for everything but I'm quite excited about getting this on just to see exactly uh, what it's going to do, how quickly I can stop and things of that sort. So uh, we, next thing I guess after we get all this done, we're going to bleed everything. Um, obviously start at the back and work our way forward. And then we've got to change our uh, booster and everything in here. So uh, we'll get that done. I had to take my compressor out and all my uh, actuators for my lockers and everything are right there. So anyway. Um, we'll just catch up with everything we're doing here pretty quick. Okay, so what we had to do, actually back it up a little bit. Okay, what we, what we did, or what we had to do, we did have to install um, this reservoir on top of your master cylinder. So we've done that. A uh, good thing to do is the little gaskets that are in there, uh, just lube those up a little bit with some brake fluid and then snap everything down. So now what we have to do is uh, we've got to bleed this thing. And um, so we just gotta get it in our vise here. And once we get that going and whatnot, we'll uh, show you what we're doing from here. We bought, or I bought a uh, master cylinder bleeder kit. Came with all these extra fittings and things of that sort. You have to find the right fitting that screws into the bottom of the, of the master cylinder. Uh, you got to hook up your little hoses here. Would have been a whole lot easier if these were clear hoses because you'd be able to see all the air going through it and things of that sort. So anyway, um, we got to get some uh, fluid in here and uh, whatnot. And we'll uh, once we start getting this thing going, we'll show you how we do it. Okay, so what we've done is we've dropped the hoses down in here. We've hooked everything up down here. Filled her full of brake fluid. And we're going to probably lose a little bit. Now we, all we have to do is we just pump this, pump it slow, let it out slow, so that, um, and I'll just demonstrate how you do that. But And don't push it in the whole way because you don't want that, I guess it would be called a plunger or something, to get um, stuck in there or damage anything, damage the seal. But all we're doing now is just getting the air out of, the master cylinder and we're almost I think we're pretty close to being done it would be a lot easier if this was clear tube because you'd be able to see the air in the tube itself if there is any but the fittings that we have down here are semi transparent so you can see a little bit of bubbles going through and whatnot so we're just gonna just gonna gently push it in and out No 
more bottles. bubbles there so just when you push it all the way in just pause for a second before you let it out and then out so what's happening it'll blow bubbles out and then it sucks the bubbles back in there you go bubbles there okay clear so cycle it three or four times clear oh we got a big burst of air out of that one <laughs> yeah so close. <laughs> Okay, so what we have to do now is we got to take these fittings off here. We got a couple of little plugs that we got to put back. So these plugs here we have to put back into the uh, holes there and try not to get a lot of air back in there. So we are going to bleed the entire system after this. So yeah, you just try. Excuse me, you just try to keep as much air out of all of this as possible. Just. Uh, you know, to make everything a little bit easier. Wouldn't it be easier if we put the cap on and would stop the suction? Yeah. You know what I mean? We should get it. Okay, so as you can see here, we took the hoses off. We got all the air out of it. Uh, we just put little plastic caps off. We're going to leave this in here right now. Because right now what we have to do is get our... Uh, that's our new booster here. It's quite a bit bigger than the... Uh, oops than the uh, one that was in there already. Uh, I gotta put that back on. But anyway, we'll get, uh, we gotta disconnect everything over there. We'll get that all done and uh, we'll get everything started here. So there is a clip in here. And if you can see kind of where my hand goes, the clip is right up in here somewhere. Um, it's right here, I think, if I can feel it correctly. Let's take another look here. Yeah, right where the uh, brake pedal snaps onto that uh, booster there. That's the uh, part that we have to uh, get off that little clip. So I'll do that right now. Try and leave this in here while we're doing it. Be able to see this. Try and get this. Ah. Okay, so this is that little clip that you got to take off that disconnects up in there and it's you got to get this light down here again. Um, so that light or sorry, that clip came off right at the end of the uh, brake pedal right there, right straight up. Uh, the clip was on the end of that and that will release everything there. And then we just got to get those four bolts out and uh, We'll have everything apart, but we gotta get the uh, brake fluid out of a 
our reservoir here. So we got to do that. We'll get that taken off, and then we'll get our, our big booster out of there, and we'll, we'll be on, our, on to the race. So you can see here, we're just getting the lines out. Okay, I gotta get my 12 mil back on here to get this tight loosened up. This thing is shit. So because you can't get all the fluid out of here, it's uh, because you can't get all the fluid out of here. Uh, this there's definitely going to be some spilling out of the front here. Um, we got the back one there. We siphoned out as much as we could. We just used a turkey base. Uh, we don't want to strip these. Uh, we just used a turkey baster to uh, get the fluid out, and we're using. Grandma's doily here to mm -hmm. <laughs> soak up as much brake fluid as possible because it is very, very corrosive. It'll peel paint off of anything. And I think we're just about there. Okay, so what we're doing is we just got these little plastic clips we're just going to stick in there um, once I get this out of here. So we're going to have like a... Can you get much come out? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, a bit come out. Okay, well, there we go. So we just got to get this off and... Uh, and then we're off to the next thing. Anybody help? <laughs> so what we're doing is we're taking these bolts off here. You can see there's one there, one down there, and there's two more, like, on, the two more on the bottom. There's one, you might be able to see it. It's gonna be right down there somewhere. And then there's gonna be another one right over here somewhere. So we just gotta get those out. And uh, once we get those out, um, this comes off and everything goes back on in reverse with the new stuff. Okay, so getting this out of here. Brake booster. Brake booster. If anybody has used, if, you, if you've got a manual transmission, if you've used that hole that goes through the firewall right down in there like I have, well, guess what? You've got to disconnect everything out of that because that hole that goes through the firewall goes through this bracket and to get this booster out, you gotta take this bracket off and all of that stuff has to come out of that hole. So, we have to do that now. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, we have got this out. Uh, we had to disconnect, well, I had so much going through the firewall there. Uh, everything from my S-Pod wires going to my compressor in the back. I had an airline going through there and it was all through this hole right here. You can see there and it was through that one. Uh, everything was coming through there. We had to disconnect everything. Uh, you can see the mess of wire and everything that I have. Yeah, so anyway, bigger job than what uh, was originally guessed, but we're getting her done. Uh, we'll put all that stuff together another day. It's not going to happen today, which is fine. Uh, I just need uh, just need the Jeep to drive and stop. That's all it is today. So anyway, so we are getting uh, this plate off, and we're going to put it uh, on the back side of here. Um, on the back side of here. So that's where it goes on anyway, and that hooks to your brake pedal. 
pull or push. I don't know what it does here. I think it pulls. Anyway, and uh, but we got everything. This here is all ready to roll. We'll just have to get that in. That'll be a little bit of a mess getting the lines hooked up, but we'll get that done. So we're pretty close to being there. We're pretty close to being done. Um, it is a bit of a bear to get that booster out of this. You've got to play with it and uh, whatnot. Like there's a factory wiring right here that doesn't help. And then obviously if you've got everything, anything in that hole, that doesn't help. That all has to come out and whatnot. But uh, anyway, like I said, it's, it's a bit of a bear. It took us probably a good, I would say half an hour or so just to get the wiring all back through there and whatnot. And, uh, and then to get that thing shimmied out of there. So anyway, uh, so far so good. So we'll keep you update. Okay, so what we have done, because that was giving us such an issue because I had so much running through there, uh, we just cut it out. We just cut this piece here, there. We just rounded, you know, smoothed out the edges and stuff. So if this ever has to come out again, we're not gonna have the same issue. So anyway, uh, just a suggestion to anybody who is doing this, uh, there might be something you may wanna do. We got the new booster in. So there she sits. A uh, little easier to put in than the other one was to take out. I've already got one of the bolts on here now. Um, so there's four bolts on this thing. There's obviously the two at the top and the two at the bottom. I think the two at the bottom are going to be even a little more, a little more tough to get on, but, uh, we will get this installed and, uh, we'll catch you up once we get it done. We are, got all our stuff through here. I got to hook this up later. I'm not going to do it today. And, uh, we just got to get our uh, reservoir put in and uh, yeah. we're good to go. So uh, oh, oh. I'll show you what we have, I guess, when we're finished getting up that done. Okay. So we are getting two bolts on to get our reservoir and master cylinder in place. And uh, what's next? We gotta hook up our brake lines and uh and the clip the clip our power and i think that is it that's and bleed the brakes and whatnot the normal stuff so um i had a compressor in here before <laughs> <laughs> i don't think it's gonna fit i'll have to do some measurements when i get home and why not but uh, just because of the space that uh, this new booster takes up and uh, where it kind of pushes everything I don't I might have to do just a little different change in what I had here so that's why I'm not hooking anything up here tonight uh, we'll get everything rolling and uh, get it all done that way but everything went I could say fairly smooth but once we got to this bracket, like I told you, um, just all the, everything that came through it. Um, you know, if you don't have a, a Jeep with a whole lot of stuff, like all your S-Pod wires, uh, compressor stuff, air lines, uh, locker stuff and everything, it just all came through there. So anyway, um, well, uh, I guess our next step, once we get our lines on and whatnot, we'll, be, we'll bleed it and then uh, we'll have to do a uh, sort of a stop test, I guess, and we'll go from there. So we have it all together. Um, we just pumped the brakes and everything now, uh, just to make sure that we didn't have any leaks and whatnot. And we have zero leaks, uh, no brake lines are leaking, things of that sort. Um, nothing's leaking down, like uh, down here, because this is what we, put the brake lines on there and she is good and dry on that one uh we're good and dry on this one here too yeah we're good and dry there so um all we have to do now is just bleed the brakes this has taken it is now five after four we started at 9 30 approximately we took an hour to go to lunch and uh, uh we had to go pick up some stuff um like the bleeder kit and uh, some other things. But anyway, so not bad for what we had to do. And uh, yeah, yeah. 
and it was all the extra time that we had disconnecting everything that took a lot of time in that respect so anyway we'll just start the uh, bleeding of the brakes and then uh, probably the next uh, next thing we'll have is me driving down the road doing a doing a brake test <laughs> breaking them in anyway uh, so far so good okay so first brake test no brakes <laughs> we uh, just took it for a little spin around the block uh, I could put it to the floor and uh, no, not much there at all I'll still roll so anyway um, we're just gonna check everything out we don't know uh, I don't know I've heard that it could be the ABS unit that there could be air in there I don't know we're gonna check this out and uh, we'll keep you updated on what we find out